Hi, welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Steve Bot 5000. I built him! A lot of new movie trailers and teasers have popped up over the last couple days, so Steve and I decided it's time for another movie trailer roundup. Yeah! <laughs> First up, we have a new found footage anthology style horror film called VHS. Much in the vein of films like Tales from the Dark Side, Creep Show, and Trick or Treat, the movie is about a bunch of young hooligans with video cameras who break into an old man's house to steal a VHS tape. Once inside, they find a stash of tapes which end up being all the little bits and pieces of the actual movie. So special about this tape, anyway. Oh, shit! Like you. I've heard great things about this one, Joe, and I love my horror movies. But personally, I'm kind of sick of the whole found footage thing, Joe's. I'm sure you are too. Yes, I am sick of it, and here is why. My problem is that it's become a bad vehicle for cheap movie making instead of a vehicle for good storytelling. Tell a good story with it, and I'll get on board. But Trevor Groth, a programmer at Midnight Movies at the Sundance Film Festival, a category the festival reserves for the most effed up horror movies, weird comedies, and other inexplicable fare, said, I give this all the credit in the world because conceptually, it shouldn't have worked for me. But this one does. It's terrifying and very well executed. So that's exciting, Joe, but we'll see. Yes, we shall. Hey, brace yourself, Steve. Here's the trailer for the Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 2. I finally found that I could shine. So apparently in this one, the frail skinny chick and the emo, like, pale, shiny, sparkly guy, they had a kid together, and now they're gonna do anything to save that kid from harm because that's what parents do. I'm never going to see a Twilight movie. Agreed on all counts, my good man. I have kept this movie out of my life for this long, and I will gladly continue to get through this and let it pass, like a bad case of the poops. Let's move on to a movie I'm very excited about, the prequel to Monsters, Inc., which I love, titled Monsters University. <laughs> Very funny, Sullivan. You look great, Wazowski. You know, if you're gonna prank someone, the least you could do is think of something clever. <laughs> What's happening? Everything about that looks awesome and amazing and not Twilight. We know very little about the story on this one since it's a long ways off with a June 21st, 2013 release date, but what we do know is the film takes us back to when Mike and Sully were in college, just barely learning how to scare. I feel like Pixar can't do wrong, my man, except for the Cars movies, those were terrible. Yeah, agreed. And I also love my Monsters, Inc., and I'm bummed that there's no Boo in this one because Boo reminds me of my daughter. They're both so cute. Oh, it also has got John Goodman and Billy Crystal, and that's awesome, so bring it, Pixar. And last but not least, we have the latest Dark Knight Rises trailer. Brace yourself for Batman! I must have lost my ticket. Your wife said you were taking a cab home. My wife? Don't worry, Master Wayne. Takes a little time to get back into some of the things. This trailer includes all sorts of new footage like that bridge blowing up we totally haven't seen like 12 times. And it's totally gonna be a shocking scene in the movie because we've never seen it before, right, Joe? No, yeah, it's gonna be one of those scenes that they put in every single trailer that is not in the movie. Where's the bridge blown up? Hey, it also features Bane spouting a little bit of spoilerish dialogue, so be prepared for that. Oh, you know what else it has that's really exciting? The exploding bridge? No, the lack of Catwoman. I'm not sold on Anne Hathaway yet, and she looks stupid riding on the bat pod, and her costume looks like a rejected costume from like the Spy Kids movies. And let's be honest, man, the lady of the Nolan Batman universe have been pretty forgettable. Yeah, like when Maggie Gyllenhaal died, we were all like, good. And then when Katie Holmes didn't die, we were like, damn it. But I'm sure the movie's gonna be awesome, Joe. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, and one other final bit of uh, movie-related news for you. Jim Carrey has officially dropped out of Dumb and Dumber 2. There's a Dumb and Dumber 2? There was. The Hollywood Reporter reports that Carrey left the project over concerns that Warner Brothers and New Line have no real enthusiasm for the project, saying in a statement, I would have thought that Dumb and Dumber 2 was a no-brainer. After all, it's implied in the title. Sounds like you made the right decision. Comedy sequels rarely work, and if the studio isn't into it, then you probably dodged a bullet, Mr. Carrey. So which of these movies are you most excited about, or are you excited about all of them, or none of them? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already and click this annotation to go to sourcefed.com to see the five stories of the day and every video we've ever done. And real quick, if you guys wanted to pick up a poster, either signed or not signed, we're having a sale over at fourhumanpeoples.com. It's a 420 sale and for the next 24 hours. Head over there and get one. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. It's a robot. Zoot, zoot. I make zoot sounds. Zoot.